Hi, I'm Brian Tracek, Product Manager at Pepper and Fuchs. And in this video, we're going to discuss how we can use Pactware, our free FDT frame, and our DTM for our advanced diagnostic module to set up a project and then configure that ADM module. So in this video, we're going to cover how to configure our Pactware project and how to configure our RS-485 to Ethernet converter so that we can connect to the advanced diagnostic module through Pactware. So in order to uh, configure the KT-MB-GT2AD, which is the 485 to Ethernet converter, the first step will be we have to go to our Start menu, Programs. Uh, we should, you should have a Peppo and Fuchs folder in there. And you want to click on the Diagnostic Gateway Configuration Tool. So this is a little piece of software that will enable you to uh, change the IP address of all of the diagnostic gateways or RS-45 to Ethernet converters that you have connected to your network. And you can see as soon as you bring it up, it starts a scan that looks at the subnet that your uh, computer is connected to. And we have this uh, con converter, which is the one that we have in our demo setup and has a default IP address, a default tag, and by clicking on the Edit Configuration button up at the top, we bring up a screen where we can now change the tag information. So we'll just call that Demo, and if we click on this button, we can enter in an IP address, and you could also use the Automatic Network Configuration uh, to set the IP address, but you want to make sure that if you're using a DHCP server that you always use a static IP address for the converter so that there's uh, no confusion you don't have to change it every time so we just go ahead and click OK we get the circle showing us that it's working that it's changing the IP address and tag information okay so we can see now that everything's updated we have our new tag information stored here and our new IP address also stored in the configuration tool. So once you have this set, you can go ahead and close out the configuration tool. That's all you need to do with it. And the next step is going to be to open up Pactware. So Pactware 4.0 should have an icon on your desktop. And the first step is going to be to build our project over here in the project window. So if we uh, right click on the host PC we can add a device and the first device we're going to add is the Field Connects Diagnostic Server so this is a piece of server software that's running in the background on your PC then we're going to right click on the FDS add another device and this time we're going to add the FDS port and you can add these devices either by double clicking or highlighting and then clicking OK and so now we're going to right click on the port and add another device and we'll select the HD2 DMA so the stationary diagnostic module and click OK. So this builds up our project that we're going to need to connect to one ADM. If we had more than one ADM we would just highlight the port right click and we could add multiple ADMs if we needed and basically the port is going to correspond to our Ethernet converters. So if we had more of those, we could right click on the FDS, add device, and add more ports. So this can, your project can be as big or as small as needed for your project size. Now, we need to tell the project where all those devices are, what addresses they are. So if we go ahead and double click on the FDS, this will take us into the topology setting and the first screen that we see is the FDS parameter. So we can see if the FDS is running on a local or a remote machine. And down here you can see the FDS communication status. So you always want to double check and make sure that that is okay. At this point we're going to go ahead and right click on the FDS and connect. And then we're going to click on the FDS topology tab. And now here you can see that the Topology tab gives us a, a window that's awfully similar to the Pactware project window. And this is going to be where we can change all of our tag names as well as set the addresses for our ports and our diagnostic modules. So the first step in uh, assigning 
a uh, Ethernet to 45 converter is going to be to click on unassigned diagnostic gateways. We'll go ahead and click on update. So this will go out and search for all the diagnostic gateways that may be on our network. So we can see here the 172.24.114.3. This is uh, the, the demo converter that we have connected. And the easiest way to bring this into the project is once you have it in the unassigned diagnostic gateway window, you just click on it and you drag it over to the appropriate port. And now you can see that the port becomes, it has the IP address and the tag of the, diagnos of the 485 to Ethernet converter in our demo setup. And this can also be done by just clicking on the port and you can enter the tag and the IP address. Um, but it's easier just to drag and drop, I think. The next step is going to be to click on the advanced diagnostic module, the ADM001. Uh, and now here we can set the address uh, that the RS485 address that's set on the module through DIP switches. Ours on the demo system is at address 5. So we'll choose address 5, click apply. And once you click apply, that sets the topology. And you can see over here our device tag for the port name changed from a generic port to demo that we assigned to the Ethernet converter. And we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and close the FDS window. And then the last step in order to be able to connect to the ADM would be a right click on the ADM and connect. And once everything goes bold, that's our indication that we're connected and everything should be up and running.